All right. Yep. I, I had to unmute. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, I do want to stress right now, guys, any of you using our G2A referral link, please understand I'm asking you guys to buy from G2A if it's in stock because I can guarantee you'll get that game from G2A themselves. However, if you're buying from a vendor on G2A, you have to be wary. That's why you buy the G2A shield. You have G2A covering your butt in the purchase of that game in case that vendor scams you. Um, this is a huge deal when it comes to games like RimWorld. RimWorld just came out and they had something like uh, over almost a hundred games. Almost a hundred copies were bought and sold um, on places like G2A. Similar to, you got G2A, you got Kinguin, you got CD Keys, I think, a, a whole bunch of places. Whole tons of them. Um, there's even sites that I don't even know about yet that I'm still finding out from viewers and stuff to never go buy games from because they're only vendor-operated sites. So, yeah, scary thing there. So, sites similar or like to G2A, because G2A being the biggest market, oh, G2A is allowing this to happen. G2A is fighting it with each sale, guys. They are fighting it with you guys. They aren't saying, oh, well, we hate you guys, and we're just going to let all these scammers run wild. They can't stop where the games come from. So, if you bought it legit, and you're selling that key on G2A, you might actually be in an infringement of some kind or in trouble with certain developers, game studios, stuff like that. However, games widely seen, taken advantage of, are the indie game scene. So stuff like RimWorld, it was hugely popular before Ludian Studios. And Ludian Stu uh, before Ludian Studios brought it to Steam uh, July 15th, However, you see in other cases where it's like, well, they just shelled out something like $35 per transaction, per stolen credit card transaction that happened. So the people filed their claim, got their money back. Well, who's paying for the claim? Who's paying? Who's paying out of pocket? Ludian Studios is covering their own ass because someone stole the credit card from a client and then bought a bunch of RimWorld keys to sell them everywhere else at a lower price. And Ludian Studios ends up having to cover costs because of people who are scummy, who scam like that, who go out of their way to try and make a quick buck on places like G2A. And it's terrible that G2A doesn't have a, a security measure in place to be like, well, is this purchased with a stolen credit card? Is it... Is there a transaction happening where the money is going back to a stolen credit card? Do Is there a place like that? Is it even possible? So I'm telling you guys, in good faith, with not only all of the purchases I've ever made from G2A... Get down, buddy. Teddy bear. You don't have your teddy bear up here. Go get it. But you have, uh, you know... Like, RimWorld is huge. I love playing that. And I'm making tutorials for you guys. But I'm, I'm stressing that G2A, if you're going to buy from G2A, only buy from G2A stock. You cannot trust a vendor. Uh, and, you know, you're not going to know a vendor personally unless they physically contact you. I got cheated out of $5 from a vendor. A vendor. G2A covered it. I used the G2A shield and I did it all. What? No. I'm not locking the gate, buddy. But buy from G2A. G2A will show if they have it in stock or not. Yeah, it might be $5 more than the lowest price. But is it cheaper still? I guarantee you it is. So places like G2A, please, please figure out a new way to stop allowing scammers to use your site for profit. It's only hurting all of us because we're seeing games like, you know, RimWorld get affected by it. It's not it's not being taken down. It, not to say that we lost out. No, we didn't. We Everyone who backed it and got alpha access before it ever came to Steam, we've been playing it. We've been enjoying it. 
but now we have to worry about, you know, hey, what if I what if I support this game company? Are scammers going to get that one too? What if we support G2A? Am I the bad guy for scam for for for, you know, having a referral link with G2A when they've been known to have scammers on their site? No. You're not the bad guy. You're not. I'm not the bad guy either. Some of the big names, some really big names on Twitch, Hitbox, YouTube, they literally got rid of their referral link over the first implication of scammers. They said, we want no part of it and left, regardless if they were paid sponsors by G2A or not. Now, I watch a lot of big guys on Twitch. I do take from them. I glean. I learn. And I try new ideas in my own way. So I'm right there with you guys. I want to save as much money on the next game I'm buying as you do. I mean, there's G2A, Kinguin, Steam, CD Keys, um, PaladinGaming.com, which we were sponsored with them, but you guys use G2A so much, my sponsor was like, you didn't buy from me. Your viewers didn't buy from me. So we got to let you go. Hey, I get it, okay? I didn't make sales for them. That's okay. But at least we could have had this conversation on Discord in a private manner or like a private conversation. Don't take me down right in the middle of a stream and tell me that I must take all of my referrals to your website down. Um, not to mention... I was not uh, I was not given my referrals from the previous site stores so therefore my community thought th that Paladin games was scamming and basically I got screwed out of any purchases that had happened regardless of how big or small I got screwed out of my money that I made for Paladin gaming so that's why my community left just in case you're watching Paladin gaming just in case you're watching all right, so, all right, folks, this is, uh, you know, me telling you G2A is serious when it comes to their guarantee. If you're buying directly from G2A stock, you're going to get a game. Okay, folks, I can guarantee it. You know, I, I've done a lot of workings with G2A, and they basically guarantee if you're buying from the G2A stock, you're getting that game, and if they are out of stock but you've already purchased, don't you worry. Once they have a next stock, they basically go through the backlog and start divvying out those keys to whoever made those purchases. You know, we can see that with things like uh, Star Wars Battlefront or any other big title that came out that all of a sudden ran out of stock right when you made that finished payment. So that's, that's something like that. All right, folks? telling you guys buy directly from g2a use our referral link down in the description uh please help out the stream the youtube it is all appreciated everyone's still using it thank you so much and everyone continuing to spread the word please like subscribe and share thank you so much guys the love and support is appreciated we'll see you in the next video yeah.